Hi everyone, it's Laurie Gibson and welcome back to PYB. And today I have another HR moment and I just want to take a deep dive into the question, tell me about yourself. This This question trips up even seasoned professionals. Young people want to know, if everything is on my resume, why are you asking me to tell you about myself? Fair. But this is an opportunity for you to sell yourself to the company. This question can also break or make you in terms of your chances of becoming employed by this establishment. So as a seasoned HR person, I'd answer it this way. I'm an innovative HR professional with over 15 years managing various aspects of the HR function from talent acquisition, talent management, to compensation and benefits for major Fortune 500 companies in the Bahamas. Of course you know we don't have Fortune 500 companies in the, in the Bahamas, but whatever your feel is, whether it's banking, um, whatever your feel is, you want to use that as a backdrop to conclude the answer to who I am, because that's what that just answered. Unless the interviewer asks you for personal information, this is not a time to tell your life story. This is the time for you to sell yourself in a 35 to 45 second snapshot. Just tell a compelling story. It's like when you were in school and you in began your essay with a bang to get the person's attention, you want to get their attention in these first two minutes because the more engaging you are, the more chances the interview will go well because you would have captured their attention. You want to sell yourself in such a way that they would say, you are the person that they want to be at their company, managing their team or working in their environment. So practice if you have to. Take uh, your phone, go in the mirror and just do a short practice session of answering the question. Don't sound so robotic that you sound like you're reading a script. Make it again compelling and engaging. The next thing you want to do is to highlight your expertise. Now, don't assume that we or the HR manager or the recruiter has read your resume because there are times when we really don't have time to read it, believe it or not. It happens. And so what you want to do is highlight two or four points from your resume that speaks to the job posting and again to your resume and again they should be in harmony so it should read something it should go something like this i'm a customer service manager having developed my skills at xyz company where i've won several performance awards and you can list those awards if you have them and i enjoy managing people and i love solving problems The last thing you want to do is answer the why, the why you're here. This is not an opportunity for you to, as you say in our behavior vernacular, dog out the company that you're currently working for or your previous employers. You don't want to say, oh, they don't pay us overtime. Oh, they work us hard. They mean they're not nice people. The company is this, the company is that. No because we're going to think that you're going to do the same thing when you leave our employee. Take the high road and perhaps you want to answer it by saying something like this. I really love the company I work for, but right now I'm seeking a new challenge. And I see that this position has already excited me just reading the post. A next response you can use is, and I got this from a, a to be a part of this company because I see that you have initiatives that align with my purpose and where I see myself in the future. 
Another one was, I already have been a part of a sinking ship and I, I raised that ship so it could set sail. And now I want to be a part of this company so I can bring my enthusiasm, my good work ethics to take this company to greater heights.